You're talking to the wrestling t-shirt wearing, championship ring wearing, deal stealing, toy dealing, hot wheel riding, dragonfly flying, son of a gun. And I'm having a hard time keeping these credit card bills down. Welcome to a flare for toys. It's that uncultured heathen. It's your boy Beef. As you know, we're doing the Guardians of the Galaxy movie wave. We're going to unbox a whole wave, review them, and then we'll bring them back and count them down, worst to best. So we're going to get into today. We got Peter Quill. We got Star-Lord. We're going to see what he's all about. Now, this line kind of leaves a little bit to be desired, but I mean, they're decent figures. Just not very many accessories, you know, and Bill's a little dog. But other than that, we're going to keep going. We're going to see how it pans out. Ready to get them all together in their suits and see what they look like as a group together. I mean, I like them being in the suits, kind of like that, but some people don't. But without further ado, let's get the old man goggles on. We get the flare for toys now. And we'll get to work and see if old Peter Quill lives up to it. All right. Let's see what we got. I don't think this one has any of the pieces to the dog in it, but I'm not sure. We'll get it out and find out. I think that's his little guns. Get it out of the little parchment paper. All right. Got his two photon laser gun cannons, whatever. Looking pretty good right there. No piece to the dog in this one, I don't think. Mm, Ain't much movement back and forth on the head. But it does go side to side. I mean, these are kind of stiff. But a lot of figures are when you first get them out. But, I mean, it looks like Peter Quill from the movie. Like I said, they're all in the same suits, stuff like that. You know. I mean, they're decently painted and sculpted and stuff like that. But, I don't know. It, it's not going to be the best line that uh, Marvel ever did. I know that. But, I mean, unless you're just a huge... Gardens and Galaxy movie fan, which I liked all the movies, but you know, it don't give him no holster or nothing to hold the gun. I guess they didn't have enough money in their budget to put in that stuff on, you know. But anyway, it is what it is. Look at the other little phaser gun in his hand. You don't have to put them in his hand if you don't want to, but you really ain't got nowhere else to hold them, so you might as well. Unless you're going to put them in a baggie and put them up somewhere. But he got his two little laser photon guns or whatever. And he stands up fine. Kind of a little bit heftier than the other one. Of course, I know he, he's a dude. He's supposed to be heavier. He got, he got a whole lot of ab crunch. <laughs> he can bow down real quick. But anyway, it's pretty decent figure. I mean, Lisa had a couple weapons with him. And just, I wish he'd have like a little holster on the side where he could put them or something. But anyway, that's Star-Lord. Like I said, we're going to run down the whole Guardians of the Galaxy movie wave set and then We'll bring them back and we'll count them down and go from worst to best and then we'll move on from that. Just make sure you like, comment, follow, subscribe, all that good stuff. Until the next time, I'm out.